This video will explain the effect of right defaults on your VRChat avatar and describe how to change your animations to conform to the two possible setups. If you are having issues with a feature failing to activate or deactivate properly, follow this video first, as problems stemming from right defaults are incredibly common. Right defaults is a function that changes how your avatar's objects and settings are handled by animations. With right defaults on, your hierarchy and the settings for everything within are saved and referenced the entire time you're in the avatar. If an animation isn't actively modifying something on your avatar, that thing will be reset to its default state. With right defaults off, only the initial state of your hierarchy and settings matter. After that point, everything is controlled by animations. If an animation plays that affects something on your avatar, those changes will remain in place even if that animation ends. Let's look at an example. In my flight tutorial, I demonstrate making an animation with a single frame turning on the avatar's flight platform. The state to which this animation is attached is activated when the flight parameter equals true, while an off state, with no animation, is triggered when the flight parameter equals false. This works with right defaults on because once the flight animation is no longer playing, the platform reverts to its default state, which is off. If this is done with right defaults off, however, the platform stays turned on because it was never told to turn off by an animation. To fix this, we need an animation to tell the flight platform to turn off. There are two ways you can go about this. The first is to make an animation exclusively dedicated to turning off the platform. After making this animation, you just have to attach it to the off state in the animator for it to function. The second method keeps your files a little more consolidated. In the existing flight animation, you turn off the platform at frame 0 and turn on the platform at frame 1. After that, you attach this same flight animation to the off state in your animator, but set its speed to negative 1 so that it plays in reverse, thus turning it off instead of on. The same principle can be applied to most other features as well. With invisibility, you give the off state an animation that re-enables the skin mesh renderer. With an item toggle, you make an animation that turns the object back off, and so on. With right defaults off, you have to manually revert the changes you make with your animations. It's important to ensure that all states in any given animator are consistent in having right defaults either all on or all off. Mixing states is likely to result in unpredictable issues. When adding new features to your avatar, check first to see what your previous animator layers are using. Unity defaults to having right defaults on, but any pre-made avatars may use right defaults off instead, as do VRChat's own base animators. If you're using a pre-made avatar or working with the locomotion, additive, gesture, or action animators, you'll want to check the existing animator states for right defaults off. If the existing animator states use right defaults off, you have two options. Either follow the directions I gave earlier for all new animations, or try simply changing all existing states to right defaults on. Generally speaking, animations set up for right defaults off will work fine with right defaults on. Very few creators actually make use of the niche advantages provided by right defaults off, so it's likely worth it to try converting to right defaults on across the board and check to see if everything still works properly. As stated earlier, new animator states will default to having right defaults on. Combined with the fact that animations take less effort to create with right defaults on, the main advantage of keeping right defaults is convenience. It takes substantially less effort to work with an avatar using right defaults on. The advantage to right defaults off, meanwhile, is that you get a little more control over the avatar. For example, you can transition out of an animation part way to leave it at the midpoint, useful for something like a charge blaster that gets gradually more intense as it's charged. Or you could activate a sound effect and immediately return to a ready state in the animator layer, rather than having to let the full sound play H. before transferring off of the animator e. state, as would be needed with right defaults L. on. L. O. O. Ultimately, I recommend using right defaults on if you're just starting with avatar work. It's much easier and faster to work with. Right defaults off is a hard sell, but you might consider it if you want a lot of features that need to continue playing through after you've pressed a button to activate them, or just have a huge amount of features in general, as too many animator layers will start to cause frame right drops in VRChat.
Just be aware that you'll need to be highly meticulous to make WD off work fluidly. Hopefully, this video has told you what you wanted to know regarding right defaults. If not, feel free to ask any other questions in the comments below, or join my Discord at the link given in the description to ask around. I also offer commissions and tutoring services, both of which can be requested at the Discord channel linked previously, or by messaging me directly at toolboxmotley, pound sign 0372.